everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a healthy gluten-free chocolate zucchini muffin that you are going to adore. Now my gluten-free free flour that I'm using is a one-to-one -one ratio, so take note, you can make this pretty much with any multi-purpose or all-purpose flour. So the first thing you need to do is clean and wash your zucchini and then we're going to shred it. So I'm basically cutting it in quarters and shredding it in my food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can finely chop this or you can use a handheld shredder. Once everything is shredded in your stand-up mixer or hand mixer, you're going to go ahead and add all your wet ingredients. And this is going to include your eggs, your milk, your raw honey, vanilla extract, and butter. And I will have all the exact measurements linked below. So if you wanna print this recipe out for future, it's a great recipe. Um, zucchini usually takes the flavoring of whatever you add to it. And it's a great way to use up your harvest. And I am just cracking the eggs and adding it to the mixer. And then I'm going to slowly add my dry ingredients. So with my gluten-free flour, I like to sift it in a sifter. I'm gonna add baking soda, baking powder, sea salt, cinnamon, of course my chocolate chips, and I'm going to give it all a good mix. Now you don't wanna over mix any of your ingredients because that's what's going to make your gluten-free muffins seem tough or hard and not moist. So you wanna make sure you really do not over mix. Now remember that you can head over to the blog, you can print this recipe out if you're not going to make it today, and you can save it for later. And um, also let me know in the comments below if you enjoy these healthier, simpler recipes, because I'll be sure to keep doing that for you guys. And let me know some of the recipes you'd like to see this upcoming fall. Um, because I do do a lot of baking and crock pot and simpler meals that are healthy and on a budget. So just let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know and it really helps me out to plan.
To sweeten these, we used obviously the raw honey and the chocolate chips are sweet too, but these are semi-sweet. They are dark chocolate, so they're going to give that rich flavoring, which is great, but it's also going to help with antioxidants. And like I said, I'm not going to use my stand-up mixer because I don't want to over mix. Halfway through, I'm using a spatula. And as you can see, I added the milk here because I forgot to add this in the beginning. So, whoops. So I'm just kind of going to mix till everything's combined. And why I'm doing this, I'm preheating my oven to 350 degrees. And I'm going to bake these for about 20 minutes. I do like to, halfway through, turn my um, muffin tin halfway so everything's cooked evenly. And I am going to grease or line a muffin tin. Today I am greasing, but you can use a muffin liners if you choose as well. And this makes a great afternoon treat or a breakfast treat. And again, like I said, the recipe is linked below, so don't freak out. I'm just basically doing this video for you just to show you how easy it is and how simple it is. I think the biggest thing is with this recipe is the cleanup and the prep time. And then once you have everything prepped, it's a piece of cake. And I am going to repeat this process twice because this makes about a dozen and a half muffins depending on the size. And you can also turn this into a zucchini bread recipe or a mini muffin recipe. So don't feel discouraged if you want to change it up a bit. It's the same recipe I use for the bread and for the mini muffins. You just have to alternate or I should say alternate um, the timing because you may not cook them as long you just want to check the centers um, to make sure that the muffins are completely cooked Finally, once your muffins are completely baked, you're going to cool them on a wire rack and serve them up. Like I said, I'm making these for actual breakfast, but you can serve these up any time of day. They are a perfect treat and there's not a lot of sugar. So if you enjoy videos like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any videos from me, remember to hit that subscribe button. I'm here just to inspire you to live a simpler and healthier lifestyle, but on a budget. So all of my videos are to encourage you and to inspire you you can do all of these stuff. It's great for beginners or someone who's very experienced. I just want a life that is on a budget and simpler and healthier. So thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. And until next time, I hope you're having a fabulous day.